Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Be sure you've unplugged the appliance before beginning and turn off the hot and cold water supply valves. You will also need to disconnect the two water supply hoses attached to the rear panel along with the drain hose. Be prepared for some water to spill out. Next, you will need to remove the agitator. If your model has a rinse dispenser, pull the lock ring up with your fingers and twist the dispenser upwards to remove. Next, remove the agitator cap. Depending on your model, you may also need to remove a dust cap. Hold the agitator base and use a 7 16 inch socket to remove the bolt and washer and pull the agitator upwards to remove. Now, carefully tilt the appliance back so its rear panel rests on a towel or carpet. Next, unsnap the pump clips and wiggle the pump off of the motor shaft. Disconnect the motor wire harness and unclip the wires from the plastic retainer. Use a half inch socket to remove the bolts attaching the gear case to the base. Now carefully pull the motor and gear case assembly out. Detach the old brake cam by removing the C-clip. If still intact, remove the old clutch band and lining by squeezing the spring with pliers and lifting it out. You're now ready to install the new band and lining kit. Place the new brake cam onto the drive tube and secure with the C-clip. Next, place the two caps onto the band to hold the appropriate spring and spring dampener in place. Please note that if you have a compact washer, you will need to install the shorter spring and dampener in the clutch band. Otherwise, use the longer spring. Use pliers to squeeze the spring to insert the new band and lining into the clutch housing. Now slide the motor and gear case assembly into position, making sure the clutch spring is opposite the brake cam. Be aware this may require some adjustment before the gear case sits flush against the base. Secure with the bolts. Secure and reconnect the wire harness. Next, align the motor shaft with the pump and slide the pump on. Reinstall both pump clips. Now, carefully lift the appliance to its upright position. Place the agitator back onto the drive shaft and reinstall the bolt and washer. Replace the dust cap if your bottle has one. Replace the agitator cap. If your model has a rinse dispenser, push it down until it snaps into place and press the lock ring down with your thumbs. Reattach the water hoses. Turn the hot and cold water valves back on and plug the appliance back in to make sure it's functioning properly.